a few weeks ago, I was I was reading a book, and and in the book it it mentioned um, this phrase catalyst catalyst of pain, and it was talking about how in in our lives there's all there's tends to be a catalyst of pain that kind of or or a spark of pain that that gets us moving gets us gets us going in the right direction and as i've been kind of thinking about that the last couple of weeks it made me kind of realize that you know we have to have that catalyst of pain if we are if we're going to truly go in the right direction and and the direction that we we need to go in in life whatever whatever direction that that may be and the the these catalysts of pain i mean they they can come from our own decisions our own our own mistakes or they can come from outside forces god or you, the universe and you know it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter where they come from the only thing that matters is that they happen and and that we learn from it and and grow from that so if if this is true then we have to we have to allow allow ourselves um, our children our our parents whoever it is the the opportunity to to make mistakes and to create pain in their lives uh, there's a there's a comedian a long time ago that that kind of kind of summed it up with a his version of, of parenting between you know males and females and you know his mom would if he wanted or if he was trying to do something say like stick his finger in a light socket his mom would would you know go over and stop him and you know give him something else to play with instead of the light socket and his dad would would sit back and say hey watch this as as the kid was putting his finger in the light socket and he would get shocked and he's like that hurt, didn't it? Shot your ass, but shot your ass back about eight feet, and he's like, "I bet you don't do that again." He, he was allowing him to make a mistake and learn. Now, I'm not saying we should allow kids to stick their fingers in light sockets, but um, <clears throat> the the point is, the the father was letting his son make the mistake so he can learn from it and and grow from that experience. So. Um, the big, I guess, the big thing is we need to make sure that we allow ourselves and the people around us to to make mistakes. None of us are perfect, and and the mistakes that we make are allowing us to to grow and and to learn, and to to point us in in the direction that we need to be going. So allow that to happen, and and on top of that, when the mistakes do happen, we we have to allow ourselves the the opportunity to forgive forgive ourselves and forgive the people around us because if if we don't forgive you know ourselves and and others the there's no growth and there's no learning so so one allowing ourselves to make mistakes and two allowing for forgiveness when we make those mistakes that's that's truly what's going to be the the catalyst that's going to just it's going to point us in the right direction whatever that direction may be in your life